my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and today I am not with my good friend Chip. He had a lot of things to do so he could not make it for this video but that isn't a problem because we are going to do something really fun. We are going to look for a villager's town and see if we can find a baby villager to go play with. But they are extremely rare so first of we need to find a village. So let's find it. Oh by the way I don't know about you but I think Maroon 5 is completely dank. I hope I have got these moves for the entire obby because I am really on a roll right now. Never mind. Let's try that again. It surely looks easy but you can't touch the yellow line here so you need to jump on top of the green part because the yellow part is made out of lava and lava is going to kill you instantly. Look at me go I will do this in one try. If my eyes are not holding me for the crazies I can see some Mario stuff up ahead. They look like the mushrooms that you need to jump on top of in the Mario games. That part was actually not so hard. The next stage surely is easy as a lemon. Do you know what you have to do when life gives you lemons no if life gives you melons you make melon juice out of it wait did i just go from lemon to melon wow that is insane how could i just do that when i did not want to do that lemon and melon are such similar names for a fruit yes they are both fruits wait it is not as easy as it looked you can fall trough these squares now i am sad because i fell down i think i would know they pattern by now but i am not the cleverest at home so i can make mistakes as well i still am a human and humans make mistakes now i am determined to make it trough this stage immediately and I am going to do just that because I am sub-zero and I can do this. Me and Chip will conquer this entire lobby. The next stage are just Maltesers and some limited edition green Malteser version. This looks a bit like Wipeout but only on Wipeout you have water beneath of you instead of just floating in the air like we are doing right now. Hold on don't slip. I slipped and I have to respawn. Let me try that again. Now hold on let me stop you right there. This looks like a garden of some sort. Why are we just in someone's garden you could grow some potatoes or some carrots on this little platform darn it i just hit a green ledge which kills me instantly because that is what ledges do to you when you touch them why ledges are so evil i think no one will ever found out we just have to get to the other side so we can go on and win this obby chip will just help us get to victory chip once was an olympian gold hurdle jumper thing he was a very fast sprinter but he had a special talent. He could jump very high so he decided he was going to be a hurl jumper thing. He enjoyed being a hurdle jumper for a while, but it was just getting too simple for our Chip. Chip is now helping us overcome this obby. He had won a couple medals at the Olympics. Chip really wanted to earn some more so he could buy a very nice car. But he was too little to get to the pedals. He could not drive because he was little. He could not take driving lessons. But he really wanted that very nice car. He did not yet know which very nice car he wanted but he had some ideas. The only thing he wanted in that stage of his life he craved for a car. He just wanted to go to a fast food place order some junk food and eat it in his very nice car. He could taste the things he was going to order already. He was going to go to his local McDonald's that was just a couple of blocks away. He already got there a couple of times before but just as a regular customer. He never went into the Mac drive. The only thing he wanted was to get a drive in that Mac drive. Was that too much to ask? Chip did not think it was such a big deal. He eventually took his mom's car and just went to the McDonald's to get some burgers and a milkshake. This next stage looks weird. Weirder than working at the McDonald's and having a tiny robot pull up in a very nice car to order some poopy food. Have you ever thought why would I not make a prank call? Like just call someone and tell them some crazy stuff. That would be really cool because it would just be such a random conversation that it would be funny. Like you could prank someone with some real problems and just talk very random to them. Hi I think that could make me laugh already. Just look at how big this obby is. Like it is really huge. Do you know what else is huge? Space. Space is huge because there are so many planets in there. There is like the moon, Jupiter, you have Earth the planet that we live on. You have got some other planets. But if I named them all you are going to be a here for a while. Do you know the planet Mars? The planet Mars may have water so there could be some aliens on that planet. Excuse me I think I need a taxi to the nearest McDonald's. I want a MC chicken menu and a milkshake strawberry please. Oh this is not the McDonald's? Well what was I thinking then? 
I should get dressed go home and go to the McDonald's. Wait I already am home. Then I should go to the Burger King cause that is better when you are at home. Have you ever wanted to tape some pieces of bread onto your chest and just row a boat to like an island and live there? That would be a dream of mine to just go onto an island where nothing is built yet and just make my own rules and live there. I would build a really nice house and just chill there at the beach every day. My diet would consist of just coconuts and some creatures that live on that planet. Or do you ever have any random thoughts? that you would just super glue you stuff to your chest not with like tape not taping bread to your chest but just super gluing stuff onto your body like you could just glue an entire kitchen onto your body or just glue a television onto your belly button would that even be possible because like televisions are pretty heavy and I don't think the glue would hold I have to tell you something though like I have a gmail account and I am getting emails from people I don't know I think they are companies or something they are just random name things I don't know what to do or what but like go to your gmail account do you have random emails as well? Why do I keep dying all of the time I can't even finish a story like this man? Like you would think by now I would see the pattern in this simple stage but I just keep walking into the wrong paths. This stage looks easy though. It does not remind me of anything at the moment except for maybe a carpet or something. Like these round ones really do look like pancakes just like a couple of stages ago. Let me know down below what you put on your pancake. I am really curious to what other people eat on their pancakes. If your name is Josh and you empty an entire Nutella pot onto your pancake I rate you man. Ah uh, we are back at a stage where I could feel like Tony Hawk again. Did you know Tony Hawk has some skateboarding games? Like the man even has books about his life. Look at this one though it looks like a maze where you need to find the other side of a maze so you can complete the maze. Like the yellow things were corn and you are in a field where farmers normally would get your food from. So alright enough of Tony let's focus on this little man should we give him a name. Yes let's call him Pete. Sup Pete how are you doing yay okay from now on we will call little man Pete. Glad that you people like the name well I don't really know if you like it but that is what I am hoping for ha ha ha. It is just so cute how he follows me around and tries to keep up with me. Sometimes I do have to wait for him because he isn't used to all of this high terrain. I think he never went out of the village so yay. But that is alright I will teach him everything he needs to know. But first let's make a place where we can store our stuff because I need some space to store my stuff, and then we don't need to walk around with stuff that we don't really need all the time and then we are a bit more lightweight. So, we just place these four chests down and then we are good to go and store all kinds of stuff in there. What we are going to store in there doesn't really matter though. But we are going to place some furnaces as well so we can melt the iron and stuff that we don't have right now but I think we will have that eventually so we are already prepared for that which is just fantastic. And now I am going back to my base and I can feel iron in my pocket so now we can use some iron if we want which would be great. And it seems like I have 4 iron which is enough to build an iron pickaxe and still keep 1 iron to build a shovel. Out of or something along the lines of that. Or we could just keep that one iron and then the next time we find two iron we have an axe that is made out of iron which would be even better than a shovel made out of iron because we could also make that out of stone and the difference is not really that great I think. But it is only one iron though so I don't think it would really matter that much. But I don't have a lot of iron right now so I think that I need to just be careful on what I spend my iron because I need it all right now so I am just going to be really careful with it until I find a lot of it. And then we could spend all of that on a suit that would make us Iron Man. Or we could use that iron to make really cool tools and stuff and then it is going to be fantastic. But I kind of like the idea that we are going to be Iron Man as well. So I am not really sure which option I am going to take because it would be enjoyable to fly around, but I don't think that a standard iron armor suit is capable of doing that so I am not sure if that really works like that, but that is okay because we don't really need to fly because we have a house in a cave so why would we want to fly in our house? We can't really do anything with that so that is not really that fantastic. But we now have our first orange blocks placed down which is also just fantastic, and this is going to be a sort of our door frame and I think that it will look just perfect for an entrance to our house that is inside this cave and that is just really great. And we are just going to do that and then we have a really cool entrance I am not really sure. But let's decorate the insides with some more cobblestone and stuff or does that not look really great? No I don't think that it looks good so let's just place something else like dirt so we can match the rest of the entire house without having to change up a lot of stuff. 
but like this it looks kind of alright so I think that this is good. But we just need a door now and we need to change the floor into these orange planks which is going to mess with the rest of our design because the chest the furnace and the crafting table are on the same level so maybe we can make some stairs or some slabs and then we can change it into the right level and then it would look great which would be fantastic. Or we could just destroy the crafting table and all of that stuff and place it again but that wouldn't really be much fun so we are not going to do that but instead we are just going to enjoy ourselves with a nice carpet change and today's carpet change is going to consist out of making it into planks and then it is just going to be alright and then it will look really great and stuff so that will be really cool and then we are good to go but right now it looks kind of alright so I think I am happy with the result I am not really sure what I am going to do with all that backspace that I have over there to my left in that cave but I think that could be a future mansion or something no I am just kidding I think it will just stay a cave and then we are just going to enjoy ourselves for the time being in this orang looking house and if we get tired of this house then we could move into there or we could just move entirely we then would have a lot of things to keep doing that and then we would just build a bunch of really poopy houses well they aren't really poopy but they aren't great either they are just built with what you can gather really easily houses but sometimes that can look great and sometimes it can also just look really poopy and that is the risk of being one of those people but we are not going to build poopy houses anymore because i have done that enough in my time being so I don't want to build poopy houses anymore, and I think that I know what poopy houses are by now so I think that I am good with that, and I don't think that I would build a poopy house soon enough so that is all alright so I think I am good to go and not build poopy houses anymore and then life will be great, without having to live in a poopy house all the time. Because it really doesn't make you happy it is not a not happy maker but it also just doesn't make you happy but I think that this cave being on two sides so that you can enter it is a really great opportunity to expand in the future so I think that I am going to be here for the long run so I think it would be great if we got some nice blocks in our house back over there. But we are just going to exit this cave very slowly because I really don't want to be down there anymore so I am not going to be down here anymore and I am going to enter another cave and through those caves. I am going home and then when I am home then I will be happy because home is where my heart is and apparently also where all the mobs are so that is not really that great but at least we have a place that we can live it so that is great and it could always be worse so we don't have it that bad we just need to hang some torches and not die thanks to all these mobs and then I think that we are good to go but if we just have some coal I don't think we have any so that is not really that great but then we could have built some torches and then we could place some of them and then the mobs won't spawn in here anymore which would be pretty great if that happened but i guess if we don't have any coal then that entire dream is gone we could make charcoal though but that is such a process we could then better just go into the previous cave and then take a look at some more caves and then come back with a lot of coal and then we would be richer then we would just spend our time taking down trees and making them into charcoal which wouldn't really be fun to watch and it wouldn't really be fun to do but going into a cave then a lot of things can happen and stuff and then it could just be great but we don't really have any food so we can heal and that is a pickle which we can eat because it is not a real pickle and I really would want a real pickle but we don't have a real pickle we don't really have anything to eat I think that there was a spider eye somewhere around here but I am not going to eat that because I don't want to eat a spider's eye it is even in my inventory but we could get rid of that because we don't really need it because when are you going to eat that and we are not going to use all of that brewing stuff so I think that we are good to go right now and I think that it is all good and we don't really need all of that right now what do need to do right now is run as fast as we can because the house is done now we need to return to the village to see if everyone is alright I hope they are because the night is falling upon us it's time for the mobs to come out and try to destroy and kill us but don't you worry okay because I will be every fast like need for speed fast like sonic fast let me see I may have to use my fly power because then I will be faster yes some little hobs really nice using the air to move not everyone can do that only special people that trained with it maybe I will learn it you guys someday but I am not sure so be ready for that so we made it back to the house everything is alright with everyone glad to see everyone here well I am not sure if everyone is here wait let me count should I count well 1 2 3 a never mind I am not going to count because I am savage and I don't need to do things like that my name is sub and yes sub is very savage I am kidding 
But people from sub squad it is getting time to end this video I know I don't want to end this but don't be feared I will be back soon sooner than you think with new videos new content everything will be fresh fresh. So I hoped you prankster liked the video darn it people we forgot pranking plan I am so disappointed in myself I will try to get that in the new video if I don't forget it. I can forget it because it is so important. I will call Chip so he will be there as well Chip had a lot to do today so I am going to call him up to see how everything went on his day but for now people I say goodbye.